Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, has proposed developing medium-class unmanned ground vehicles with interchangeable wheeled and tracked systems, allowing quick adaptation to any terrain, from cities to mountains. The project, now in Phase 1, will evolve into heavier 5 to 15-ton variants by Phase 3, armed with machine guns, anti-tank missiles, or non-lethal systems. Designed for combat, surveillance, and logistics, these modular UGVs aim to enhance India's autonomous warfare capabilities, supporting DRDO collaborations and future AI-driven military operations. DRDO's Akash NG missile successfully hit a high-speed drone using the electro-optical tracking system, marking its first-ever radar-free, passive guidance test at Chandipur. The Yot ES enables stealthier, jam-resistant operations by tracking and guiding missiles without emitting radar signals, reducing exposure to enemy detection. Integrated with the IECCS network, the system achieved subdegree accuracy across multiple target types. With a 45 km range, all-weather tracking, and AI-driven precision, Yotyes boosts India's indigenous air defense and self-reliance goals. India has achieved complete self-reliance in radar technology, with DRDO developing world-class systems for air, land, sea and space operations. DRDO Chief Dr. Samir V. Comet confirmed that India now produces airborne, ship-based, long-range and cloud-based radars, capable of tracking everything from ballistic missiles to stealth targets. Ongoing upgrades focus on AESA, gallium nitride modules, and AI-based systems. This milestone strengthens India's defense preparedness, cuts foreign dependence, and advances Atmanirbhar Bharat in defense innovation. The Indian Navy plans to replace its old AK-630 guns with directed energy weapons like DRDO's upcoming 300 kW Surya laser system, capable of destroying cruise missiles, drones, and rockets at the speed of light. These lasers offer unlimited ammo, high precision, and low cost. Though full deployment may take a decade, India's progress in high-energy laser tech positions it among global leaders, marking a major step in modernizing naval defense under Atmanirbhar Bharat. Bengaluru-based Shripad Engineering Services has reportedly won the rupees 49.35 lakh contract to develop the retractable aerial refueling or AAR structural design for the LCA Air Force MK2 fighter jet. This system will boost the aircraft's endurance and mission range. Although HAL hasn't officially confirmed, tender records list Shripad as the winner. The project involves load simulations, design integration, and certification a vital step in advancing India's indigenous fighter program, ahead of the LCA MK2's rollout by 2027. DRDO's UTAM ASA radar, designed by LRD, is undergoing a major upgrade from gallium arsenide to gallium nitride technology, enhancing detection range, power, and resistance to jamming. The new plank design increases TR module count from 912 to 968, boosting range to around 250 kilometers. This marks a leap toward fifth-generation radar performance for India's Tejas MK-1A and MK-2 fighters, ensuring stronger tracking, longer reach, and better adaptability in modern electronic warfare environments. India's $7.4 billion deal for 97 Tejas MK-1A jets has pushed the unit cost to around $76 million, making it pricier than the Su-30 MKI. Officials blame post-COVID supply disruptions, rising raw material and engine costs, and global inflation. The contract, signed in September 2025, includes advanced avionics and GEF-414 engines. This surge mirrors global trends, with aircraft like the F-35, F-15EX, and Typhoon, also seeing sharp price hikes amid disrupted production chains.
India's National Aerospace Laboratories is accelerating work on the 90-seater regional transport aircraft to boost regional air connectivity and self-reliance. The Pratt & Whitney Canada PW100 turboprop engine has become the leading contender due to its proven reliability, fuel efficiency and strong support network in India. Widely used in ATR aircraft operated by Indian Airlines, the PW100 offers low operating costs and easy maintenance. While domestic and G engine options are being studied, the PW100's track record makes it the most practical choice for powering the RTA-90. The Indian Air Force is considering a direct purchase of 40 to 60 Russian Su-57 E stealth fighters to fill its capability gap until the indigenous AMCA enters production in the mid-2030s. This marks a shift from large-scale local manufacturing to quicker, cost-effective induction amid Pakistan's pursuit of China's J-35A jet. The Su-57E would serve as a temporary deterrent, upgraded locally with Indian avionics and weapons later. Despite Russia's tech transfer offers, the IF prioritizes expanding its Rafale fleet while using the Su-57E as a short-term bridge for air superiority. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is scaling up its CATS Warrior program to develop a full range of stealthy unmanned combat drones, from 1-ton to 10-ton variants. The 2-ton prototype will fly by 2027, while future 3-ton, 5-ton, and 10-ton models will feature higher payloads, longer endurance, and advanced AI, radar-absorbing materials and indigenous weapons. The 10-ton hail you see AV, capable of 50,000-foot operations, will handle reconnaissance and precision strikes. Integrated with manned fighters like Tejas and AMCA, the CATS family aims to strengthen India's air combat and surveillance edge against regional rivals. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.